If you are using a DJI remote control which doesn't have its own screen, you are probably pairing it with your smartphone and you can make screenshots and record screen the usual way you do on your smartphone. However, if you are using a DJI remote control with built-in screen, you may wonder how to make a screenshot. Well, some might not understand why do you want to make a screenshot when the drone itself is capable of capturing both stills and video with its own camera. Well, the difference between the image that your drone captures and the screenshot from your remote control is obviously the addition of all the information you see on your controller screen. And there may be several reasons why you want to capture all the information you see on your HUD. First of all, you may want to capture all the flight information, or if you have special settings, you may want to make a screenshot of those to make sure you don't forget them in the future. Sometimes screenshots are used as a proof of something. For example, if you have a malfunction in drone, you may want to make some screenshots of the information you have on the controller, or maybe you just need a proof that you actually did something with your drone. You're also not always recording on your drone, and if you have a screen recording on your remote, that may save some footage that otherwise will be lost, because you were not recording on the drone. Also, your drone doesn't record sound, and if you're making some kind of narration, what you can do is connect a wireless or USB wired mic using the Type-C port on the DJI remote, enable screen recording and do your commentary on the microphone. And in this scenario, where you have both the footage from your drone, which doesn't have any sound, and the footage from your remote control, which has the same footage but with sound and your voiceover, combining those two files will be very easy in any video editing software, so you can perfectly time the video track from the drone with the video track from the remote to make sure that audio is in perfect sync and then just remove the video track from the remote. And in this way, you can make drone footage with your commentary very easily. And I personally use screenshots of the interface of the remote control to make instructional videos like this one. So there may be many reasons why you want to make a screenshot or a screen record on your DJI remote with a screen the same way you do your screenshots on your Android phone, for example. And even though your DJI remote control is not a phone, it's still a pretty standard Android device, a byte with a special interface. And it has most of the Android features, and as any Android device, it does have the ability to make screenshots and capture screen. However, depending on the particular model of the remote control you have, you may need to insert an SD card where the screenshots will be stored. For example, DJI RC controller requires an SD card to be inserted into the controller, however, RC2 model doesn't, since it does have its own storage, which can be used to store files, including screenshots, and this is the model I am using to make this video. So this is more or less standard Android device, and you can swipe your finger from the top of the screen to pull down the standard Android menu, which has most of the common features, including making screenshots and recording the screen. After you tap the screenshot, there is a little delay allowing the menu animation to pull back up so it won't interfere with your screenshots. The screen record function is identical to the standard feature of any other Android device, you have a little control on the screen where you can stop the recording. After you make a screenshot or a screen record, they will appear in the device gallery and you can open them right on the remote controller itself. To pull out your screenshots, you have to connect the remote to your computer and then navigate to the standard screenshots folder, which is similar to any other Android device. Same goes for the screen recording. The paths are the same. And from here, you can copy over your files to your computer, for example. However, since this is an Android device, there are other options to make screenshots. For example, you can pair a Bluetooth keyboard and pressing the print screen button on that keyboard will make a screenshot. You can also connect a wireless keyboard 
In some cases you will need an OTG adapter for the dongle, and if this wireless keyboard has a print screen button, this button will also make a screenshot. And you can also connect a wired keyboard. In this particular case, I'm connecting the keyboard using a Type-C to Type-C cable, and since this keyboard, like many others, has a print screen button, this button also makes screenshots. And unlike using the pull-down menu, making screenshots with a keyboard doesn't have a delay, and the screenshot is captured immediately. And also on some older DJI controllers, like RC Pro and DJI Smart Controller SC, you can find a back button. Modern versions of DJI controllers do not have the back button. However, if you have an older one, you can use different combinations of back button and the joystick to make both screenshots and start screen recording. So these are all the ways you can make screenshots and recording screen on DJI remote controllers. I am the god of YouTube! Like, subscribe, jingle bells.